After a tremendous performance by the Sports in the opening game against Emil Hempstead, the team hit a pothole away to Hampton and Richmond. So it was back to training as the team prepares for the next match on the road against Gosport. In a break from training, Kevin Anderson caught up with first team coach Hugo Langton for his views on the contrasting results. Well, Hugo, two very contrasting results in the first two games. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened in the second one, but first of all, great performance last Saturday. Very pleasing, yeah. We, um, a lot of the things we've worked on in the week, um, very pleased with it, came off on Saturday. The second goal in particular we, was came straight from the training ground. It's something that we've been working on in terms of our attacking shape. But I also felt Saturday, um, you know, I thought we, whilst we were very dominant in the first half, we always knew when the second half started that Hemel, who are, <laughs> they're no mugs, they were yeah. going to come at us and have a go at us. And I thought that the way that we defended and we stood up to them, which is, again is stuff that we've worked on with the boys. We work on a lot of stuff defensively with them. Really pleasing, but, you know, as they say, one swallow doesn't make a spring, as we saw. <laughs> Indeed, on, on, Tuesday, on, yeah. uh, on Tuesday at uh, Hampton. What exactly went wrong? Well, I don't think it was the fact that anything went wrong. I mean, I think for, from Hampton's point of view, you've got to give them some credit in the sense their front three uh, in particular, or well, three out of the four, they, they worked very, very hard. And they didn't allow us to settle at all. Mm. Uh, but on the, on the other side of it, um, certainly their first penalty for me was very debatable. Um, and we could have done better with the second and third. But on the flip side of it, um, we, we created three or four very good chances. And I think you've got to give their goalkeeper some credit. Yes. Um, on, on another night they go in, it changes the result. I think the, obviously the delay in play was a little bit unsettling, was it? Yes, about 20, 20 minutes uh, in total when the referee that, yeah. was replaced. So I that's, think. The, that's, that's a, uh, a different mm. challenge in itself. You've got to try and keep the players going. You don't want their bodies to... Which, which I don't think that they mm. did. Um, but you know, I think the difference was I think the the referee is you know, he's obviously he's come from being a linesman to a referee, and was perhaps at times a little bit too quick with his whistle rather than wait and see what would unfold next. But listen, you can't you can only control the controllables. We can't control what goes on um, in terms of the ref or the opposition do that sort of stuff. But I certainly don't think he contributed to um, a good evening. Yeah, I follow that. Um, you're spoilt for choice in one or two positions. Uh, obviously, Elliot cracking hat, hat trick yeah, in the first game needed to make room for pins. Well, it was isn't it wasn't so much of making room for pins. I mean, Jamie Taylor, I thought had a great game yes. Saturday, and I think you know he, he did okay when he came on Tuesday. It was a very hard game, I think, for you to come off the bench onto the pitch to to, mm. to adapt yeah. to. Uh, but listen, pins' his record speaks for itself. You know, yeah. he's he scores for fun and. Um, you know, with, I think I'm sure Tom's told you we will manage some of the older players where yes. we can, um, because it's it's about keeping players fresh. So you know, the difference between being fit and being fresh. So if, you, if you're fit, you're fit. But if you're fresh, as opposed to being tired, if that makes sense, uh, it means that when they do take the pitch to the pitch, they're they're top fresh, top fit, as it were. So um, you know, that that was more of the case. And obviously, Elliot after his after his performance Saturday, he would certainly deserve to keep his place. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're off to Gos Gosport on Saturday. Yeah. That's uh, not a gruelling journey exactly, but... Uh, Depends uh, where you're coming from. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, and along the A27 on an yeah. August Saturday. But once you get there, a tough game as well. Listen, Gosport are a very seasoned, um, good conference south side. Um, you know, even when the first season they came into this league, they finished towards the playoffs and they're always in and around it. They're a very tough nut to crack. They've got a good blend of, of experience and youth, they've got players that can pass, they've got players that can turn us. And um, when you play Gosport earlier in the season, they're always a little bit, perhaps, a bit more at it, in my opinion. And that's no disrespect to Gosport because the management are friends of mine. And um, But it's going to be a very hard game. But we, we, we'll go there with our plan. We'll train again tomorrow and um, we'll go through the things with the players that we, we feel that might help us get something down there. I've watched you training this morning uh, it's a Thursday yeah. and uh, tomorrow will be the, the third daytime training of, of the week but yes. your younger players they're just full of it yeah I mean the players that we've brought in as well I mean they it's like they've been here for, for a while they've settled in very well and that's also a compliment to the players that have been here longer because they've embraced them into the changing room and made them one of their own and um, but you know some of these these young players as well their enthusiasm uh, yeah, to, to yeah. train, to play, you know, they're, they're, they're great guys to be around, they've got good characters, they're polite, 
Um, you know, all the things that you sort of look for in, a, in, a, you know, in your players when you, when you bring them in. I guess finally, uh, we shouldn't really be talking about a season on the basis of just those first two games, should oh, we, Hugo? Not. No, absolutely not. You know, it's, you know, we had a great start Saturday and brought back down to earth a little bit with a bump, which, my opinion is, may, may not do us any harm in the longer term. Mm. You know, it just keeps everybody's feet on the ground, particularly after the way that we played Saturday and we got off mm. to a great start. And it was, a, for me, I thought it had everything Saturday. It was a scintillating performance. And to have that little kind of bring back down to earth, just a little reminder that, do you know what, you know, teams like, it doesn't matter who they are, whether it's Hampton, whether it's Ebbsfleet, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be tough nuts to crack. And it's a good little reminder, not just to us as staff, but also to the players. Thanks very much indeed, Hugo. You're more than welcome. Thanks.